Hi, how are you all? Hope you're having a great Tuesday. It is lunchtime Tuesday. I'm looking for my live here. I'm hoping I'm in the right place. Yes, yes, yes. I am in hey, my right place. Oops, I got to turn that volume down. Anyway, how are you all today? I hope y'all having a great day. I'm going to get some time for folks to hop on. <clears throat> Make sure I'm seeing my comments and all. Give me a, a couple places here. Where am I going to share me? Ah, there we go. That's the one I needed to click on. I think I'll just go there too. Why not? Why not be in all the places, right? <clears throat> so, how are you on this Tuesday? Hopefully, y'all are having a great Tuesday. <clears throat> I've been working this morning. I'm back to work today. Yesterday we had a holiday. Today back to work. Back at it. Hey D, how are you? Hope you're having a great, great, great day. Anyway. So we're going to get started because, you know, I have an hour. Give or take a few. And today we're doing a horse of a different kind and so i've got it all drawn out here we're doing this little seahorse hopefully we'll come up with the name for him and his little story or for him or her we don't know girl boy i don't know yay hopefully i hope so um Yay. Hopefully folks are hopping on. Say hi when you hop on. Tell me where you're watching from. We are having fun this week. Uh, lunchtime lives to get ready for the pain and retreat. And so what's the pain and retreat? Well, it's June 26th through the 29th from like seven to nine, 930 ish. So about two, two and a half hours a night. We're going to be together creating three pieces of art. And so one of our pieces is a sea turtle. It's just an acrylic painting. It's a sea turtle. It's a 12 by 16. So it's going to be so much fun. Look at all that color. Look at all that fun in there. And then we get to name our pieces too. So we have to name them. Then we are doing this gorgeous mermaid. They are friends in the sea. And so... This one is acrylic painting, but then we're going to add glass and we're going to add resin to it. So we get that beautiful sheen and have that bling for her tail. And so we're going to have some fun creating this piece. And then we're going to have a functional art piece that is a beach bag. And so we decoupage on. You can do both sides, however you want to do yours. And we can do, and this is what we're going to do. So it's going to be a lot of fun. And how cute is this bag, right? And so fill it with all of your beach time, fun time stuff, right? And then there's a little cosmetic bag that goes with them. You can order the kits. Now, I can't promise you'll get your kit in time, but there's always the replay so you can watch. And when you get your kit, you could go back and you could um, you could uh, watch it and do your kit. And so, um, but anyway, or maybe you don't want to do the bag. That's That's up to you. And so some folks don't, some folks do. It's totally your decision. Um, I'm looking forward, to, personally, I'm looking forward to the bags. So um, we're going to get started today. We're both painting a little friend. Yesterday we did the little crab up there. And today we are doing another little friend we're going to do a seahorse and this is on a six by 12 canvas. You can get these canvases from Dick Blick. You can get the size. I'm going to go ahead, add, I can't remove me. I just have to add, I just have to add it like that. <laughs> so, um, 
If I remove me, I remove my sound. And I don't want to do that. All right. So we're going to get started. We're going to create kind of like this fun little background. We're going to do some blues in our background. And we're going to use some magical chalk paint from Paint Pixie for this. The same that we did on the other. But you know what? These paints will all blend in with our little sea um, turtle and our mermaid without any problems. And so I'm going to kind of do a kind of a fun background with this. And I know I've got my, my piece traced on. I'm just going to plop down some color. I want it to be a little thick in places. And so you can see this is very sloppy. I just want to get some color. In the background going here. I'm using the color of the month from Paint Pixie. And if I get into my seahorse, that's just fine. No big deal. Okay. Now what I want to do. Yep, it's Paint Pixie's color of the month. Yep, Jinx. That's right, Jinx. I'm going to plop some of this uh, Tropical Dream in. Again, very messy. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it up. And I'm hoping you're going to be able to see. I'm going to take my mister. And I'm going to spray my canvas. And I want this to run. I want it to turn into like watercolor and just like run. All down my canvas. And fill in all the white. If it gets in my... If it gets on my... Um, seahorse, that's fine. Hey, Catherine, thank you for sprinkling the love. Yes, sprinkle, sprinkle the love. You can see it's messy, but don't worry about the mess. The mess is fine. We're going to have a really cool background when we're done. I just want to get that up so it doesn't get into everything else. And so these tracers, I'm actually, I'm actually going to make these tracers available to everyone who is in the paint and retreat. And so... In addition to the mermaid and the sea turtle, you will get the tracers for this. Yes, kind of, sort of, the way you do it. But yeah, you're going to want to just pop in some color and then just spray and let it run. And then we're going to just dry it real good. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit because I'm so zoomed in you can't see my whole piece. Maybe not that far. There we go. That's good. That's good. You can kind of see the whole piece now. Yep, the outcome. Yep. 
It does kind of, and you can put multiple colors. It's really fun when you do multiple colors. You just have to be careful when you do multiple colors that you carefully pick your colors so they're not like mixing across the spectrum, right? And so when you mix across the all your colors of your primary colors, you get brown. So you're going to get mud if you do that with, um, with your, you know, depending on what colors you pick. And so now we're going to dry it. This is just a fun way to create a splotchy background. And we're okay if it gets in there. And our seahorse. I'm okay to blow it. It doesn't matter. It's going to take a minute to do it. So tell me, how is your Tuesday? Hopefully your Tuesday is a good Tuesday so far, which you've been doing fun. And have you had storms in your area? They're calling for rain and or storms here for the next, like, eight days. <laughs> it's crazy. But we haven't had much rain, so we really need the rain. We got a little bit yesterday, and I tell you, it just soaked it in just as fast as it put it down. It just soaked it in. Look at this amazing background that we got. Rain all week. Yep, that's exactly what we have here. Rain all week. But I'm not going to complain because... It has been so dry here. So I, I will refrain from complaining about it, right? Okay, we're we're dry. How y'all liking that background? That's like a simple like little background, huh? All right. You can just use a mist or spray bottle, whatever. It doesn't, you know. You do want something that sprays. Flicking water on it. I mean, you could flick water on it. But you're going to get more splotches than you're going to get, like, overall like that. And so you kind of want something just to spray at the top and let it just run down, you know. And hold it up and just spray it and let it run. And then you kind of get the look of water two which is what we want all right so my seahorse we got to come up with a name for this seahorse i want it to be in some greens and some yellows i think and so i've got sour apple i've got christmas cookie i'm gonna pull out some key lime oops, 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 oops. All my stuff is falling down. Move one thing and you got the crash. <laughs> and so there's some key lime. Just, you know, three greens. I am going to use some more of our background color. Some more of the Caribbean cooler. And some more of the tropical dream. And then I want some yellow. Ooh. I got a notification about some of my two-year-old being rushed to the hospital. I mean, it's, it's a news thing. Um, dog bite to the face. Ugh. Ugh. That's terrible. 
that happens so quickly because little kids think they can get in the dog's face and the dogs don't like that. All right, I'm going to also get some little blackberry cop going a little darker blue. All right, let's get this thing going here. What do y'all say? Yay. Y'all say yay to get it going? <laughs> to get it going? Um... All right, going into a little sour apple. I'm going to pick up just a little bit of yellow. I kind of want just a little bit of both going on my brush at the same time. And we're just going to start in, in a little area of our seahorse. Now, I will give you know, for the, um, those that are part of the paint and retreat, you will get this tracer. If you're part of my private group, of course, you'll get the tracer. I finally got it, guys. I was so proud of myself. Yesterday, I finally got my printer <laughs> on the network and my computer seeing it. And I was like, yes. But that was not without effort. I can tell you that much. Not without a lot of effort. <laughs> Too much effort, really. Like, come on now. It shouldn't have been this hard. That's one of those things you want to be like, it should not have been this hard. And so I'm just going to randomly put in here these colors. And then I'm going to come back. And kind of add a little sh shading and I want it to be kind of a multicolor type thing. So y'all tell me, are you excited about the paint and retreat? I know I am. It's going to be so much fun. I'm just picking up all these colors because I just want a little bit of all these colors to be part of this. We got to name our seahorse. Part of me is like, I want to call him Slim Shady because he knows stuff. He knows stuff that he's not telling. He knows where that pearl is and he's not, he's like, I'm not telling where the pearl is. I'm excited, nervous. Don't be nervous. There's nothing to be nervous about. You're going to, it's going to be beautiful. You're going to love your peace. That doesn't look much like a seahorse, does it? <laughs> I know it's hard for you to see those lines. I know. I'm going to grab a little bit of my orange, that orange papaya, because I want a little bit of that color coming into it, too. I kind of want all these pieces to be able to just go together and create, like, a nice little cute little vignette. So, I want to be careful. When I bring in this orange with the green. And can anybody tell me why I want to be careful with that? I know you can. We've talked about this. Yeah. Trusting the process. That's right. Trust the process. Not yet, but it will be. It will be. It will be. Yeah, you have to be careful when you mix across your your primary colors, right? And so mixing the green with the orange is mixing across our primary colors, right? 
And so if we're not careful and we push too hard, we're going to mix rather than blend. And when we mix, we're going to get colors we don't necessarily want in our seahorse. Yeah. Yeah. We don't want that color. We don't want, we don't want the brown, right? We want the oranges. We want the greens. And we want them to kind of just sort of blend with each other, but we don't want the mix. We're going to bring in another color in just a minute. Because our seahorse is quite spectacular. Hi, Mara. How are you? Good to see you. We're having fun painting a seahorse. I know it doesn't really look like a seahorse yet, but it's going to be a seahorse when we're done. We are having fun getting ready for the paint and retreat that is happening next week. And so we're doing a mermaid, a sea turtle. We are adding glass and resin to our mermaid. I'll show you. Here's our sea turtle that we are painting next week. And not have a crash. I know. It's okay, Laura, I know. And then this is the mermaid that has glass and resin on it. And so those are the two pieces that we are painting next week during the painting retreat. And we're creating a bag also. Hey, Christy. So this week we are creating some friends that are going to be with us for our paint and retreat. And this seahorse is one of them. Thank you, Mara. It's a lot of fun, as you well know. <laughs> You know how much fun it is to create. Y'all, if y'all are not following Vintage Retail Therapy, you probably should go give her a like and a follow. I want to keep the little sections for right now because we're going to come back with a different color and we're going to just kind of outline that just to kind of keep them there, the little sections of our seahorse so we don't lose them because we don't want to lose it. We created this background just by putting some paint on and putting water on it and letting it run. And now we're going to create this cute little You can see just how quick this goes, right? And put a little bit of this color up in this face right here. I kind of want to go a little lighter and then go a little darker, a little brighter. So I'm using a little bit of the key lime pie, 
pulling that in a little bit around that face. Um, yes, the tracers for these are going to be with the paint and retreat. I'm giving them to the, those that are part of that. And so I may put something together on my page later um, on my website that, you know, like, you know, can get like the crab and the, and the seahorse. Or if you're in my private group, you get that. Coming in around that eye, I'm just going to pull in a little bit of that orange, just a little bit. Again, we want to be very careful in how much pressure we put down because if we put too much pressure with those colors on our brush, we're going to mix. And we don't want mix. We just kind of want a little bit of seeing all those colors. And so... Um, yeah, let's talk, uh, we can talk, Laura, and see what you're, what you would like. And so... We just want to bring out those colors. A little bit but we still want to keep our little sections for right now because we're, we're still working with those so we don't want to lose sight of those I'm gonna pull in a little bit of this blackberry cobbler just to add a, yet another color to our, our seahorse <sighs> that I think is just gonna be like a really fun addition. Now their nose is kind of bumpy, so I want it to be a little bumpy. I didn't really draw that out, but um you know, they're not like, so a horse of a different kind, huh? A seahorse of a different kind. Not a horse horse, but a seahorse. Just want to put a little bit of this blue coming in this part of his face. And let that just transition into the other, right? He doesn't have a name, although I think I'm going to call him Slim Shady because he's a little bit shady. He knows stuff that he's not telling. And so I'm pretty sure he knows stuff. Like he knows where that pearl is and he's not telling anybody where that pearl is. So I want to call him um, Slim Shady because he's, he's shady like that. <clears throat> what do y'all think y'all like that as a name for him possibly and now you can see the color that I'm going to use to pull out all of these different scales that he has and I think he's going to be amazing don't y'all think I think so we just got to keep 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 it going right <laughs> So yeah, he's he's a little bit on the shady side, and we got an hour to do this, so we got to we got to move it, move it, right? 
There's no, there's no lack slacking in this one. We don't lack. We slack maybe, but we don't lack. <laughs> but. Good idea. Okay. Yeah, I think he's slam shady. Because, well, you just don't know. He knows stuff that he's not telling. Or he acts like he knows stuff that he's not telling. He might not know anything. You don't know. Like, it's one of those things you just don't know. He could be, he could be fooling us completely. But, y'all know, we like to make up stories about the things we create and we're on that mission to find that pearl before the end of the week we gotta find the pearl before the pain and retreat I'm kind of shifty yeah he named them sweet and sour <laughs> sweet and sour chicken I love it I love it I think that's hilarious. I think that's pretty funny. Yeah, he's all kind of shifty and shady and, you know. But... <laughs> You never know. He might know stuff. And then you're like, should I be concerned about what you know? I don't know. Maybe. His tail just kind of like goes off a little bit there. He's pretty long. He's pretty big. And see, he can blend in behind all of that sea life that we have. His name is J Jive. I like that. Jive. Turkey Jive. I like that. But, um... I think that's the one, well, I know there's more birds, but my neighbor, he, he didn't have turkeys. He had pheasants, chickens, guinea hens. That's what he had. Um, hi, from Maine. I am from Virginia. Nice to have you on, Cheryl. I am in Virginia. How's the weather up in Maine this week? Here we have rain or storms all weekend. Okay, so now I'm going to go back into those blues and start to differentiate all of our little scales and stuff. Put some of that dark in there. And kind of why I didn't want the background to be so dark. We'll see it right here, how it's going to play out in this. Just go tuck it up underneath of there, kind of like that. I'll let it work a little bit over into some of those little scales, just a little bit. But for the most part, we're just going to use it to break up them a little bit and to call them out a little bit. Rainy there too, yeah. Well, I mean, I can't complain here about it because we've had so little rain 
this whole spring that if we keep this up summer we're going to have a drought before summer is is over and so um i'm not complaining about the rain even now we might still have a drought before summer's over here the river um was pretty low <sighs> hey sherry how are you we're working on slim shady here i'm That's pretty good name. thanks Every time. You're already in drought conditions? Oh, wow. Yeah, we they haven't announced that we are in drought conditions. I wouldn't be surprised, but um, they haven't announced that yet here. And so I'm just separating out some of our little things. We're going to come back and we're going to just touch a little bit. And smooth it out a little bit more. Right now I'm just getting water in there. Your plants need rain. Yeah. Yeah, I know they do. I'm kind of glad I didn't get to planting anything this year. Because I'm like, that would have meant every night watering. And I'm like, I ain't got time for every night watering. And, you know, you can water. And, and there's nothing wrong with that. Of course you have to. But it's not. It just does not do the same thing as like when God waters them. <laughs> like they need that rain. They just flourish when they have kind of, you know, God's love. That's what I call it. <laughs> A little bit of God's love is what they need. I <laughs> can't wait for him to say hi. <laughs> I know she says it every time too like won't even speak to me on a normal day but you let me get on live and she's gonna be like all up in it okay. maybe she'll think I'm talking to her and she'll be nicer to me and not try to kill me you know she hasn't told me to take a walk while they're telling us all about these, you know, severe storms. So like she told me last time, it was time to go out and take a walk when she told me that it was the, the, the thing popped up about severe storm. And then she comes on and is like, it's time for you to go take a walk outside. I'm like, they just said severe, like electrical storm in your area stay inside you're gonna tell me to go walk outside okay thank you siri <laughs> thank you very much for that love yeah no it's been it's been a long time here too sherry you're not that far away from me so yeah it's it's been a little bit coming here too so yesterday's rain, it soaked up. Now see how we're just kind of going in and we're kind of just blurring the line a little bit. So it's not like an outline because we don't want an outline. We want to just blur that line a little bit. And so... We just want to blur it. She does love your name. She does. She responds every time. So maybe that's the key. Maybe I just need to call her by your name. And she'll answer. Maybe she just doesn't like her name. I mean, sometimes, you know, sometimes people just don't like their name and don't want to don't want to be called their name. They want to be called something else. So maybe, maybe that's the case with her. I don't know. Mm. He's definitely looking like a little, little, a little on the shady side, don't y'all think? I think so. 
him a little him a little shady. I'm just letting it blend a little bit by just scruffing with my brush. That's what we call that, just scruffing. You've been catching them in barrels? Yeah, I don't have rain barrels. Um, I should get some, but I don't have any of those. And so... Probably should invest in some, but it's great for if you have like vegetables and stuff to put them on. I didn't plant anything this year. I don't have time to care for it. And when you plant stuff, you got to care for it. How are y'all liking our little um, seahorse? I am just scruffing. So I have a barely any paint on my brush. And I just come over the lines and just scruff it. Push kind of hard and just push back and forth. I don't know the technical term other than just like scruff it. <laughs> I'm scruffing it. And it's just blurring the lines a little bit. Our seahorse, he's very colorful. He's pretty amazing. And he's got all these beautiful colors just popping on him. And that's all we're doing. I mean, it's so, this is how simple it is. You don't have to get it all complicated. You like him? Oh, good. We have a few tomatoes on our vine. Yeah. That's always good. My uncle always loved it when he planted a garden. My great uncle. He is my great uncle. Um, he is. Uh, we called him Brownie. Um, but anyway. Um, he. Um, he always loved to have, um, a garden and he, he did a garden every year and, um, one of his favorite things to do was just, uh, to sit and watch his garden grow. And you would be like, what you doing sitting? Like he would sit on the side of he had like a little patio on the side of their house and he just sit right there facing the garden. And you're like, what is you doing? I'm just watching my garden grow. And um, he'd watch his garden grow. But he always loved it when he had a ripe tomato before the 4th of July. That's what he liked. He liked, he kind of like would see. He always said, never plant before. May 10th in our area because you can get frost up to May 10th. So he would never put a thing in the ground until May 10th. But then it was kind of like the race to see if he could get um, a tomato ripe before the 4th of July. And so when I used to have my, when I did my garden, I would always remember that and try for that ripe tomato before the 4th of July. Be like, I got a ripe tomato before the 4th of July. So, 
Um. Ah, yeah, knee high for your um. Oh, thank you, thank you, G. Good to see you, girlfriend. Um. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay. Y'all, Burt Mac is in the house. That's that's who I get my wipes from. And so these are the best wipes, particularly, I mean, they're good for all things. They're good for all mixed media, but particularly if you are doing um, resin. They are great. And so. If you are doing resin. You're going to want those. Because trust me. At some point. <laughs> at some point. You'll get resin where you don't want resin to be. <laughs> and y'all getting resin out. Is not easy. Depending on what you get it in, it's really not easy. Oh, cool. I'm excited about that. I'm excited. We're just going to accent these little, like, I don't know, little spine, I guess, that sticks out with a little bit of this orange. Just so we have it pulled throughout our whole piece, right? Because you don't want it just to be in one little spot. I mean, he's kind of like got this little accent of orange going. So you want to just kind of maintain that. I'm going to put just a little bit on his nose just to break up some of all that blue that we have up in there so you can see. Yeah, well, you're more up north than we are, so it takes a little longer, and you don't get as um, warm a days as early, although this year, it would be hard-pressed to get one before the 4th, because we haven't had those warm days yet. We're getting them, we're starting to get them, but May, we didn't have it, and so, and you know, tomatoes like two things, they like heat, and they, well, I should say they like one thing and dislike one thing. Tomatoes do not like wet feet. Don't let your tomatoes stand in water. They don't like wet feet. And tomatoes like heat. Bring the heat. You'll get excellent tomatoes. Bring the heat. <laughs> You learned that the hard way. Oh, yeah. That they don't like wet feet. Yeah. Yeah, tomatoes don't like wet feet. I always heard that. Don't let your tomatoes get wet feet. So this is painting and gardening at the same time. You learn all kind of things here. <laughs> In this house, you learn all kind of stuff. <laughs> you learn all kind of stuff. We're going to darken around their eye, and then we're going to put our eye in there. Mm. 
<clears throat> yep, all the things. <laughs> Up until what, you know, like what I've heard, so sometimes, you know, I don't paint, I don't, um, I don't paint, I don't uh, plant all the things, and I don't have luck with some of the stuff I do plant, like I have never had luck with uh, melons, I painted, I painted, I have planted many different melons, and I never have luck with them, so I just give up on the melons. I've tried pumpkin. I have tried. I did like different um, spaghetti squash because I love spaghetti squash. And I love. Um, I love butternut squash. And I've never had luck with them. I get little, I get like the start and then the vine dies. And so that's what happens to mine. And so they start out beautiful and they start out like the most beautiful vine you've ever looked at. And then as soon as the, um, fruit starts to develop it gets about this big and then the vine dies so yeah plant food beets do well but radishes no unless i grow them in my little baby wheelbarrow oh that's funny and one year i had i, I saw like the vibe moving and i'm like why is that vibe moving and it was like you know, you would see it like move and I, it like freaked me out. I'm like, why are you moving? Like you shouldn't be moving. And then come to find out it was uh, this big old worm in the dirt eating it. So I had to like dig it up and move it and it didn't do well. Some ugly old worm was eating my stuff. I'm just gonna go back in with a little liner brush. I'm just coming in through some of these. I'm not I'm not outlining like I'm not going like all the way around. I'm just accenting some of these ones that were like a little more like sticking out a little bit. <laughs> just because I got a couple minutes before my lunch time is over. And I can just do it. But we did this whole thing in an hour, guys. We did it. I'm so happy. I may have to do these lunchtime lives more often. Because these are like fun. And I tend to roll my beautiful bean footage. <laughs> and get it done. Yeah, my boy, you know, I talk about my baby boy all the time, right? My Kai and how wild he is. Well, you know, okay. So I have to give him kudos. Last night it had stormed and it had rained and there was water everywhere. We've been working really hard. Um, He's been in boot camp. Y'all know we gotta talk about being in boot camp. And I haven't given an update yet on his boot camp, but he's been in boot camp to, you know, he had to go to boot camp because he was getting a little too wild. And so I had to put him in boot camp. That just means me training him. I'm, he hasn't gone anywhere. He's here. But I had to like get serious about me training him and making him listen because I had spoiled him rotten and he, he was not good at listening and so, um, and my mom was like, this is the first dog you've ever had. It just does not listen. 
That's what I was I kind of, she kind of shamed me a little bit. She's not wrong. Like she's like, you wouldn't let your other dogs do this. And she's right, I wouldn't. I I was like a like I mean, I did agility with my other dog. Like he was seriously, he was he was seriously trained, like seriously trained, not not any not no joke trained, right? And so um and so my mom was like, this is the first dog you just let do whatever and not listen. And so anyway, I'm like, yeah, he's he's got to go to boot camp. <laughs> anyway, he went out last night <laughs> for the first time, not for the first time, but for the first time that he actually like listened so good. And he wanted to jump in those mud puddles and those water puddles so bad. And I was like, leave it and he turned his head and he walked away from him and I was like such a proud mama I wanted to be like okay you can go jump in them but I didn't <laughs> it is getting dark here too yeah worms I know I hate them all right I think we're done what do y'all think and it's uh, oh I did really well so here's our little seahorse and I think his name is Slim Shady because he knows stuff. He looks shady. And so he knows stuff, but he's not telling us. He knows where the pearl is and he's not, he's not telling us. And so um, he knows where it is at and he's not telling us. I just saw an area where I wanted to add just a little more of that orange in there just for a little pop. <laughs> And so, thank you. Oh, thank you, Dee. Thank you, Catherine. Um, but yeah, there he is. And so, I will get the tracer out. And oh, I'm gonna um just finish this by using that Caribbean cooler on the side. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do here. Um, we got three minutes, so we're good. Was it yesterday I was talking about like the mystery paint thing? Was that yesterday? Y'all tell me if I mentioned that yesterday. Was it yesterday that I talked about that? That might be happening. I don't know. We got, I found some other artists that are interested in maybe doing that. And so it could be fun. It could be fun. And see, we're just going to do that with him. And we're going to do that all the way around. And that way he'll be like a little framed in. And so, but that's our, that's our, yes. Yeah, so it was yesterday that I mentioned that. Okay. I couldn't remember. Um, so yeah, I talked to a couple of people who sounded like they might be very like happy to do this. And so what I'm talking about is like a little, kind of like the mystery box. I did that one time where, you know, you get a little package in the mail that you know then you have like an hour to create something you don't know what's in it but you know when you open it you you have to figure out what you're creating well it's kind of like that only it's painting so we would mail each other a little envelope um a little you know a little card whatever and in the card it would say what you're painting and then you have an hour to paint it and so you know, thought maybe that would be kind of, kind of unique and kind of fun, kind of challenging, kind of scary. <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, I have uh, some friends who are as crazy as I am and who think it's a, it would be kind of a lot of fun to tag along and do that. So you may be hearing more about that coming soon. Um And so see how it just creates a little, a cute little 
um frame around it oh you're doing that but you're not no um no time frame oh that's cool and so this would be done but you're doing it live that's in that's cool but you don't have a time frame that's interesting so we'd have to figure out how it works. We're gonna we're gonna talk about it and see how it all works. Um, okay, Donna, message me so we can talk about it. Send me a message. But. <laughs> But there we go. There it is. Um, there's Air Slim Shady. <laughs> I don't know if that's his name. But right now we're calling him that because he knows stuff. And he hasn't told us. And so you sent her five projects, one per month. Wow. Okay. Um, anyway. But there it is. He's done. And so tomorrow we will be on at noon or close to noon, I think. I don't know. I got to check my calendar for tomorrow. Tomorrow might be one. I don't know. I don't know what time tomorrow. I've got to check my calendar. Um, Slim Horsey. That's right. He's He is a Slim Horsey. He knows stuff. He knows where the... Um, he knows where the where the pearl is and he's he's not telling us. So he's like, nope, I ain't telling you where it is. So you're gonna have to figure that out. Um, I might be out of that one. But anyway, alrighty. Well, I'm gonna say bye. This is all for excitement for the paint and retreat. I'm gonna show you that one more time. I know for those that have been here, you've seen it. So we're doing the mermaid. We're doing these three pieces of art over uh, four days. We're doing the turtle, the sea turtle. And we are doing the beach bag. So that's what we are doing. One functional piece of art. And two pieces of art to hang on the wall. And then you have all of these fun little critters that we are creating all week long to add with your little piece. So we want all the pieces to go together. And I just stuck my fingers in. So if y'all are interested in that, you can go to my website. Um, Go to uh, simplyflamazingart.com. At the top, you'll see Paint and Retreat, June 2023. Click on that. It's all about it. You can sign up. And we would love to have you. It's in a private group, so you'll have access to the videos. The videos are going to be through Zoom. They're also going to be streamed into the group. So you can either join me in Zoom and be interactive and us talk back and forth. Or you can just do the live video stream on Facebook and you'll have access to it for as long as Facebook allows us to have private groups, which I don't control that. Facebook controls that, but you will always have access to that as long as they allow it. I've never heard of them taking them one away. So, so there is that <laughs> anyway. All right. We all have a great rest of your day. I got to go back to work. I will see you all later. Bye.